How's it going everybody? So my name is McKinsey Child and in this course I'm going to show you how to build a membership site using Webflow, MemberStack, Airtable, and Zapier. So by the end of this course you're going to have a site where users can sign up as well as log in and out to get access to member only content and then they'll also be able to track which lessons that they have viewed. So we're going to be using Webflow as our website. We're going to be using MemberStack to restrict access and gate content and manage users. Airtable will act as our database and Zapier is going to be what we use to connect all the pieces together. Okay so in this first lesson I'm going to show you how to add MemberStack and integrate it into your Webflow site. So for this demo, we're going to be building a video membership site. So I've gone ahead and set up a very basic demo site um, using a template called Telly. Telly is a template I designed uh, specifically for video sites like this. So you can have both videos and series. Uh, so a series would be uh, multiple videos in a very specific order. So something like this. And then if you go in, you can have episodes as well. And what we're gonna be doing is using MemberStack to lock down this episode page. We're also gonna add some functionality so a user can mark an episode as watched, mark as complete. And then we're gonna set up a dashboard. I've already gone ahead and set up a very basic version of it. So it's gonna say welcome back name and the name's gonna be replaced with the name of the member. And then it's gonna list out the series. And then on the recently watched tab, we have all the lessons here and we're going to eventually filter these to only show what the user has marked as completed. All right, so we are gonna be building a video membership site in this demo, but you can apply these same principles and follow these steps to build whatever type of membership site that you want. So you definitely don't have to uh, use this template to follow along, but it is there if you are building a video site and want to use it. I'll of course add a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. At the very least, your Webflow site needs to have um, probably a landing page, like a home page, a login page uh, like this, sign up page, and then also um, the pages that you want to lock down and only give access to, to people who sign up. So in our case, I'm going to lock down these series episodes, this template. So anything slash episode slash whatever is going to be uh, gated and you can only access if you sign up. So yeah, let's go ahead and start building this. First things first, go over to uh, memberstack.io, memberstack.io, and uh, sign up if you haven't already. I have already signed up, of course, and I've already gone ahead and set up a uh, website for this demo. But if you just signed up, go ahead and click Add Website, then we'll select Webflow, and give your website a name. Uh, that's going to appear on your emails and invoices to your members. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then you select whether or not you want to accept payments or make it a free membership. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in here. So this is what you'll see when you first log in for sign up. It gives you this checklist of stuff to set up. So let's go ahead and go through that. So first off, we want to create a membership. So the membership is what people are gonna be signing up for. So again, it can be either free or paid. So let's call this uh, no code membership demo pro let's make this paid for this example and you can price it however you want i'll just say like 99 dollars a month you also have the option to do monthly yearly weekly or a one-time payment or even uh, a custom interval so you could do every like one month or three months or six months or whatever you also have the option to add a free trial or a setup fee which is a one-time payment in addition to the monthly payment and also collect taxes i'm going to skip all those because i don't want those for this demo site but here's the important part uh, member only content this is where you're going to select which pages you want member stack to hide and only give access to to people who sign up so in our case again we're going to be hiding the series episodes and so if we go to an episode you can see it's uh, no code membership demo .io slash episode. So I'm just going to copy that. Let's uh, click hide content and then content name. I'm going to say episodes and then it's going to be example.com slash episode. And you have the option to add multiple URLs and you can do either starts with or equals. 
I'm going to do starts with. That way, any slug that's episode slash something gets gated. Go ahead and delete this other one. And then we need a URL to redirect people to if they don't have access. So I'm just going to redirect them to the login page. But you could easily set up a custom page that says like access denied or like um, telling someone that they need to sign up for first or whatever you'd like. But for this, I'm just going to send them to the to the login page. So go ahead and hit create. Okay, so after sign up, we have the option to redirect them uh, to a specific page. Um, if you just want them to go to the home page, just hit pound. So I'm just going to send them to the home page for now. And then you can also redirect them to a specific page after login and after logout as well. I'm just going to leave those as the default for now. And then go ahead and click create membership. All right, so if we go back to the dashboard, the last thing we need to do on this checklist is install the header code. So this we're going to add to the custom code section in the project settings. So go ahead and copy that. Go into the project settings. Just open that in a new tab. Custom code. And I'm going to add that up top before any styling or anything else. All right, so I'm just going to hit save change and go ahead and publish that. Okay, so now if I go to series and try to go to an episode, it should redirect me because I'm not logged in. And it did. Perfect. Okay, so member stack is already set up. It's already working um, and gating the pages that uh, we want to restrict access to. So next up, we need to set up the login and sign up forms to connect to member stack so we can allow people to log in and out and sign up.